Hello guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is another video for the basics series, and this video will be about job management. And we will just get right into our settlement cycle 7. And this is fairly easy, this is not going to take too long to actually, you know, start. Actually, I think I'm going to do job management and food production. And my way of food production isn't the uh, micro musher or microbe musher, my way is farming. First thing you need to do in job management is to get uh, get into, uh, you gotta research up to advanced research and colony development, and then when you have that, you can build, you can now build a super computer, but we don't have any copper, so let's get some of that. We might as well just uh, start researching up to meal preparation which is the next thing we'll be doing after job management. Also, while they're doing that, we will go to the printing pod here, click on it, and go to duplicate skills, and this is where you will assign their jobs. Uh, see, such as Bert here. He has an interest in hard digging, and you can tell this by the little heart, by uh, whatever job is listed, such as hard digging right here. So you click on that job, you give him his little hat because it's cute. It's more of a, it's more fashion than actually like giving him uh, more bonuses. It's it, he still has the same job. He's just wearing a different hat. And uh, such as Ruby, she'll need advanced researching, so do that. And then she will need uh, farming. And yeah, we'll leave Stinky out of the picture for right now because you know I'd like him to just kind of be there helping you know now since we have enough materials for a supercomputer we will build one right there and they should start building it any second right now and also certain jobs such as ruby's uh, advanced research it gives her the ability to use the supercomputer so certain jobs give you ability to use different things and other jobs usually like improves uh, supply or yeah improve carrying and that's just a supplying job it'll give him plus two to strength uh plus 400 more kilograms that he can carry so if you just want to know what a certain job does to or uh, gives the duplicate that whoever is working that job you just hover your little hover your mouse over the name and it'll tell you okay we just got the uh, research for farm tiles and this one I will use farm tiles I don't usually use farm tiles but uh, to use a planter box you just place it like that or to use uh, farm tiles you just place it like that you can do either or it doesn't really matter eh. actually I think I will do the farm tiles into the ground here so you can actually do this these into the ground which is kind of handy the primary crop we will be uh, growing is uh, mule wood. Uh, planter boxes give uh, minus decor. And we will do a video all about decor too, but that will be a later video when actually stress matters. <laughs> but okay, so usually I plant one and then I put it as uh, priority seven. And then I look how many uh, mealwood seeds, which we have 30 right now, so we'll just put them in all the planter boxes so you push uh, copy settings right there and then drag and click and that's how you apply settings and they should be all priority sevens they uh, copy the plant that they're planting and also the priority that it's at so they'll plant that and then it'll start growing and for a uh, mealwood domestic growth it is three cycles for each uh, harvest like uh, wild growth is 12 cycles so that's something good to know so yeah that's how you do farming and job management i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please leave a like subscribe and comment maybe and if you guys think this type of content is right for you please subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye